Steel Panther was sick. Oh yeah, dude, um, those guys are hilarious. I've seen, I've seen them twice, and mm. and each time they kind of like pick out like some girl out of oh. the audience, right? And they sing that. Uh, my heart belongs <laughs> to yeah. you, but my cock is yes. community <laughs> property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> such a good song. Oh, good. Cake. What's up, guys? Welcome to Kane Cast. I'm Josh Kane, your host, and joined with me today is my co-host Dylan Bennett. <laughs> Joseph Pepe. <laughs> and joined with us is our special guest, the Triple Six King Champion, King Zab. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all the things. We'll just post them in, plug them in like we do every time. Yeah, how's it going, dude? Dude, Pretty good. Dude, first of all, happy birthday to Dilly. Yeah, happy birthday to Dilly. Time of this recording. It's my birthday. It's birthday. As you notice, we're all, (laughs) you you know. know that? (laughs) We're all celebrating with our little straws. He is now 40. Uh, It's either a guitar or a penis. We don't know what it is today. I'm 40 for 40? What? He's not 40. 40, dude. (laughs) Damn. 40's nuts, 40's the new 50. Damn. No, I love the fact that my voice just keeps dropping because my balls are going lower. (laughs) To 40 more. To 40 (laughs) more. Yeah. (laughs) Well, let's jump right in real quick. So we're going to start off. uh, What was your start in music? Okay, how did you get into it? Like, let's go from the beginning. Um, Dude, uh, I think the beginning of my finding the only music that the music that I like by myself was through wrestling. Like pro wrestling. Okay. Mm. And I, uh, yeah, I just like buy the wrestling entrance music CDs. And find oh, yeah. through that. John Cena. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like way before <laughs> that. But yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I found like Rob Zombie and like Marilyn Manson and oh, Limp yeah. and like all the like 2000s shit from That's there. That's nice. And, uh, started Googling it from there. Nice, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so did, wrestling. Did so wrestling, that, did all that right. kind of like get you into playing guitar or were you already playing guitar? Yeah, or bass? Uh, nah, dude. I, uh, yeah, I think I, after listening to all that shit, I kind of wanted to do it. And I was like on direct TV on on demand, and they had guitar yeah. lessons back then. What? And I was like, okay, bro, really? what? You can play Disturbed even if you're not in, in Disturbed. disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, Was guitar the first instrument or? Yeah, guitar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't really play anything else. I play bass live for everything, but I'm really a guitar player. Oh, that's, that's killer. Yeah. So with the various, okay, what are the various projects you're currently in? Or, you know, actually, the first band that you were in and then uh, your, your current project. The first band? Dude, I was, I mean, I had a, like a local high school band back in the day. We didn't really do much. We played uh, Studio 7. Rest okay. in peace. We played the slab at the drum school. Whoa. Oh, so, yeah. oh yeah. Seattle drum school. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. not too. the not the lab. They have the lab and yeah. then the slab. The slab's smaller. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like the little coffee shop yeah, style. Yeah. So you can't even fit a drum set on there. Yeah, you know? dude. Yeah, it's just like, a snare. There's like no stage. <laughs> it's just, it's nothing. It's just so a snare we're drum. gonna yep. have you play the snare tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Seattle drum school. Yeah. That's cool though. So, yeah. what was the name of that band? The, the uh, first called one called Insanity Machine. Insanity Machine. Yeah. Dude, that's it's like a, pretty. That's pretty. Okay. Yeah, it's like a thrash band, I guess. Thrash. Dope. Oh, not yeah. Sick. The Insanity Machine. Yeah. Right on. So, were, were you kind of like into thrash too, or were you yeah. just kind of like where your buddies were into thrash too? Dude, I or? was like, yeah, back then, I, you know, it was like entry level metal shit. So it was like. You know, Megadeth, Metallica, Megadeth. Slayer, oh, yeah. Slayer Brothers, Brother. you know. the good stuff, so, the right? Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The, the snakes and sparklers, the, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, the, the, the snakes and sparklers, <laughs> the classics, the classics, the classics. The so, classics. yeah, that's. I mean, you know, in high school, I think that's how a lot of people get into music. You yeah, know, like yeah, mall metal. Oh, Mall metal, yeah. that's oh, killer. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. I a lot of those bands too. Even bring it back, like Disturbed, and a lot of those. I loved mm. Disturbed growing up, like Down with the Sickness, and I think yeah, for a lot of 100%. people, I love like, how Kim Kardashian brought Slayer back. I mean, like, she did it <laughs> single handed with her with her T shirt. <laughs> 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 what band is? Th- I thought this was you know like Slay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a whole thing. No, uh, well, okay. Let's let's dive in real quick. So, Scythe the Gang. Yes. How did that start? I mean, because uh-huh. you guys definitely have got a lot of 
it, definitely a lot of buzz over the last few years with just oh, thanks, crazy man. videos. And I and I love like the different influences that you guys have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's like this just really hardcore in your face metal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then but you have these like rap, hip hop, and like almost kind of like mm-hmm. trap. Yeah, you know, and, and garbage elements. Yeah, just yeah. straight. Garbage. <laughs> yeah, how, 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 did, how did that start? How did that start? Um, dude, so, so I joined a metalcore band, which uh, Maisie was in at the time. Maisie, our guitar player, right? Mm-hmm. And um, we were kind of bored of that, and we kind of were like, we got to do something new. And we we were talking about like, what could we do? And we had like the same idea. Like I always thought, like you know, the formula of like new metal is sick, right? It's like, yeah. Back then it was like two thousands metal. <laughs> and two, was that smelling salts? <laughs> <laughs> This is like, I want to take a hit, man. Well, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah, it smells I'm scared salts. about it. it just try it. Just try it. Just hold it under your nose and go. <laughs> oh, hey guys, ready for this? Shake it first. Ooh. You shake it? No, you just, don't. Just no, it's just, just oh, if yeah. it's your first time, don't don't shake it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Woo! Oh, what the hell is that? Oh man, clear your sinuses. It's by just the way. cat pee, dude. Yeah, it's crack. <laughs> Marinated <laughs> in a little can for like six months. Oh. And then I smell it. I've seen people do that on the internet. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. <laughs> so basically, though, so that, they, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> track. yeah, new metal. Yeah, new metal. So, so like, you like the new metal it was formula? Like two thousands metal and two thousands yeah. rap, and I thought it'd be cooler to, you know, and me and Maisie had the same idea. It's like, okay, what about current rap, current metal? And I uh, kind of figured it out. Yeah. At that time, like artists like Ghostman and Scarlord and shit were popping oh, yeah. off, oh, and we're like, sure, we like the idea of it still being a band. You yeah. know, instead of like a solo artist, still so having like, that. How do we do this as a band? Yeah, I saw um, I saw I saw Ghostman over at um, what was that Aftershock Festival in oh, really? uh, California? Oh shit! Oh dude, I was like, what is this? Yeah, yeah. like this is crazy. And they, it, the sub drops that uh, were going on boo. too. And I'm just yeah, <laughs> right. I'm like, it, and and the crazy thing that is that like. Mm-hmm. Everybody was vibing to it, and yeah. at a festival like that, you just well. What's great about a festival like that is that it has so many different like genres on there and stuff. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. And and you know you could definitely tell. Pe- some people were like meh, and then but like other people, it was like they made fans. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of festivals too, you guys sure. got the opportunity to play the Gathering, right? We for did. Drug yeah, man. Wow, dude. Um, this how many times? Was it so twice? I, we played. Me and Maisie played with Scythe Gang once, and then we fill in for another band called Raven Black oh, from Detroit. Yeah, that's and right. What? So, okay. So we played with them the second time. So I played twice. Um, but yeah, Scythe Gang was the first time, and it was sick. It was the first time I went to the gathering. I oh, bought right. a ticket to go just as like a, you know, audience member, and then we got asked to play. So I gave my ticket away, and uh, that so same thing so happened good. with Raven. Oh, it's cool. like I, there's just, there's just some random little like. Eight year old kid outside. You're like, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, dude. Let me, yeah, let hey, me get you. Hey, you want to check this out? Yeah. So, yeah, and same thing this year. I'm going to buy a ticket and go whether we're playing or not. But, right. yeah. Yeah. I Hell don't know yeah. how we got, I don't know how we got asked to do it. I mean, I was shooting music videos for like a lot of Juggalo guys. So, mm. I feel like maybe that helped. I can't confirm that, but you I know, feel we're the kinda, networking, man. Yeah, I feel like they they'd heard of us through yeah, you know the grapevine to is, some degree. Is that kind of like different shooting it for the Juggalo guys versus other bands, or um, not really? I mean, shooting rappers and shooting bands are totally different. Okay, honestly, I'm trying to shoot more bands. Yeah, now, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I mean, the guys the guys that I work with in the Juggalo world, like Weezy Mac, is sick. Um, I met Violent J, yeah. Two, Shaggy, Two Dope. They're all sick, you know. Um, but I think in general, I've had like outside of that bad experiences with rappers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, it, can ha- it can happen. You know, so I, yeah, trying fair. to get into doing more bands. Yeah, I feel yeah. Like there's like a more more infrastructure. Well, yeah, and sometimes like with in my experience, like and this isn't all rappers, right? And it's not all bands either. But sure. I, I think that like when I was running a studio with my friend Adam for a while, we'd mm-hmm. always have trouble a lot of rappers would come in and they're always rapping like got that money bruh yeah and then it's like they would never pay their studio bills <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like um so <laughs> out, the, hey man so you remember that that verse is sick yeah. uh where my money right <laughs> you know yeah, dude, exactly yeah. bro yeah yeah so, i know which rappers aren't rich Oh, for sure. I know which we ones. We know which rappers <laughs> yeah, yeah. are. So, like, when they're throwing the bills, you have to go pick up your... Yeah, I know. Like, right? Guys, that's right. mine. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's for Taco Bell later. <laughs> yeah, that's their rant. Here. That's for Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's killer. Okay. You, you know, I used to play... Uh, I don't know if you ever played, like, the... Uh, I don't know if it was, like, officially, like, the Juggalos or it, it, necessarily, like, their mm. video game. 
But did you ever play oh, backyard the uh, wrestling? backyard wrestling? Yeah, dude. Dude, that dude, was course. like one of the dopest wrestling games ever. Yeah, created. man. Dude, yeah. I, I mean, I what? loved wrestling. That's how I found ICP growing up. Yeah. Was like through. I knew them as wrestlers. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, because they were on like WWE at what? the time in like the late nineties. They were oh, on yeah. every like oh, yeah. major oh, yeah. promotion. Interesting. I didn't know that so, they were wrestlers. Yeah. Their awesome. wrestling game was what? like state of the their art. Their game is sick. The, yeah, yeah. So they like, were like jumping off houses. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. Landing <laughs> on like barbed wire bed frames and like right. that's hella cool. Crazy Dude, that's, stuff. Yeah. I've seen a little bit of yeah. that. Sick. <laughs> yeah, they used to like rap their own entrance music to the ring. And when I bought one of those CDs, I saw in the liner notes it was like all the songs are written by the in-house. WWE guy, except for ICP's song was written by ICP, and then oh, I realized, okay. oh shit, they actually make music. So yeah, yeah. that's killer. That's okay. how that started. Oh rad, Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. The, that, the, the but intro that game is tight. Always, oh yeah, I'm checking that out. What <laughs> the console? Intro was always like homies, homies. Right, yeah, 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 that, yeah. yeah. That brings back it's like memories, PS2. Man. Dude, yeah. we got to check that out. Well, real quick, guys, we're gonna take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all the things. If you're an independent artist planning an upcoming release, here's something you need to know. I'm not going to pre-save it, so stop asking. Here's a technique for some quick cash. This free website is a game changer. This free- hey guys, welcome back to KaneCast. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're back with the man, the myth, the legend, King Zap. The Triple Six Champion! So Triple six. Check this out. Oh, guys, <laughs> Undefeated. Can we pick this up for a second? Let's show the camera yeah, a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't, I'll, I can't, I'll let you hold it. You, you got to hold the other side. Are you ready? Oh, or there'll be demonic That's music right, on us in there. That's sick. The last Hell title yeah. with any integrity the in this industry. Dude. Dude, that's actually pretty heavy. Yeah. That's a lot heavier than yeah, I thought. How did you acquire this piece How did I acquire it? I had somebody on the internet make it. I designed it for myself. Did you but, beat, uh, him up? <laughs> beat him up? <laughs> I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him in real life. He's scared, I think. He's scared of you. He had yeah. to pin him down for three seconds first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think That's it's awesome. time. I know, dude. I've been thinking I got to like upgrade this thing, man. Get it all gold. Split yeah. Some, like, diamonds in there. Like I don't know. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty sick with the black and silver. You know, you, you know J- Josh's friend, uh, Rachel, she uh, shout out to Rachel. Shout out uh, to Rachel. Uh, but, but dude, she like encrusts things like. Oh, crazy really? and like she crystals it. and yeah, yeah get bedazzled. bedazzled like that's her, that's her thing, dude. I, I I was like, hey, can you make me like a Ashes of the Wake Lamb of God cup, <laughs> dude? And, no, and the and cups it, dude, are it's sick. Legit, We're gonna plug. <laughs> let's plug the cups in right here. Right. Actually, it's pretty sweet. She's made quite a few of these. I bought okay. them. Yeah, they're awesome. awesome. Yeah. You should look at. Oh, her. I've seen I've seen her with them. Yeah, yeah. she does yeah. a lot of awesome. She does masks. Rocks. She does masks too. It's pretty sweet. Oh wow! Yeah, dude. So gags. <laughs> well, She's got that on lock. God, ball gag. Lamb of ball God, gags. ball gag. That's right up your alley, Dylan. <laughs> up your alley. I, I got four. Anyways, sure. dude, <laughs> I saw that you What's got to question, go out dude? with one of my favorite bands, Steel yeah. Panther. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. And, oh, my God. And the boys in Moon yeah. Fever. Yeah. Yeah. And Do you dude. know Moon Fever? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know, know of them. Know, okay, they know of you. We oh, need, interesting. Now we all need to hang out. I know. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. They know me? They Just know me, of you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I grew up with Tristan's dad's band, Second Coming in My Car, forever. Okay. And Bruiser Brody, ah, right? So, so when, I heard, yeah. when I heard him sing on any, uh, I don't remember his last band, I think it was Hellbot. Oh. When I heard that, I was like, oh, Sounds. so his dad's doing stuff again. And I was blown away that his son literally s- just was born with his dad's <laughs> voice. Yeah, no, it's killer. It's insane. But dude, yeah. how was that? Yeah, going out with sick, Steel man. Panther. It was sick. Yeah, I mean, I was rolling with Moon Fever. I met them on that tour. Like, they had a video dude that they were going to bring that just, like, flaked, I guess, last minute. And then huh. they were kind of desperate on just, like, putting out a signal, like, yo, does anybody know anybody? Damn. Somebody recommended me. So they, they, they lucked out. They picked me up. <laughs> they yeah, lucked out, man. out, too, man. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm in town now is doing stuff for them, too. That's um, killer, man. right. But, uh, yeah, dude, it's kind of scary going on tour with people you don't know. You kind of think, like, okay, this might go bad. You know, yeah, we this don't could know go each other. incredibly like, wrong. Yeah, this could go sideways. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, they're sick. Steel Panther was sick. Oh, yeah. Um, dude, those guys are hilarious. Yeah. Like, their song, first of all, why do they they sing better than a lot of those bands? Oh my god! From dude, the back legit. in the day, I gotta legit. say, Steel Panther is one of the best sounding live bands I've ever seen. Dude, they are. Dude, awesome, they're man. insanely. His good. voice is like when he. I know that the context <laughs> of the songs are hilarious, right? But they're so well done. Like there's meme bands out there where they're like mediocre, right? But these guys are they just they weren't America's Got Talent, yeah. Like yeah. doing yeah. this. 
Yeah. Okay. They There's, deserve it all. They deserve what, everything. Yeah, all those guys so are legit. I've seen them twice. And mm. and each time they kind of like pick out like some girl out of uh, the audience. Right. And they sing that, uh, my heart belongs <laughs> to <laughs> you, <laughs> but my cock <laughs> is community <laughs> property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, Such a good song. <laughs> oh, that kills me every time. I need to see like Tenacious D. With those guys at the on same tour, time. yeah. That'd be that sick. So what were the state? It was pretty packed, uh-huh. pretty packed tour. Yeah, like, I mean those guys. Tour, yeah, we, it was like the Midwest, like two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, the leg that that uh, we were on. So, um, it, yeah, it was funny. You know, they got their because I had seen them once at actually the gathering, the first gathering I was at. They also played. They oh, played what? The, they oh, played, they played the gathering. They did. They played I the main stage. Bought, they bought <laughs> everyone with yeah, yeah. steel oh, pants. Yeah, dude, they killed yeah. it, man. They played the main stage and then we played the side stage like right after. So I like watched them and then like dipped and like had to go set up and shit. Yeah. But that was the first time I saw them. I've been listening to them too for a long yeah. time since like high school. I like the fat like chick the one. Fit, you know? Oh, dude, awesome. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I was so proud to see them post a promo done by you. Oh yeah, dude. That was super. Cool, that, dude. Yeah, that I made me hyped, feel pretty dude. happy seeing that. Dude. Yeah. Well, and your <laughs> work's like popping up everywhere. Toner. Like it's it's awesome, <laughs> I'm dude. I'm trying, dude. man. Yeah. Well, like I said, I was hired by Moon Fever, so I was wor- working for them. And Steel Panther saw what we were doing, mm-hmm. and then uh, they w- got a couple from me while like, we were shit, out there. This so dude's so mediocre at best. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, they didn't have a guy, so it was like I was the only dude. option, really. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> well dude, you're, but you're, to be there, you're probably one of the greatest options they could have ever had. Absolutely, dude. Your video work, and I mean, if anyone doesn't know this is the man who is responsible for all of the music videos that have been put out in the last oh, two yeah. three years why would we go with anybody anybody else, else yeah <laughs> no it's it's phenomenal and even to bring it to that you know let's talk about like some of the videos that we've even worked yeah. on together what yeah. would you say out of all of the ones that we've shot so far what was the most fun to film and then let's go start there. What was the most fun? The to most film? fun to film. Okay, what did, what did, what did we do? What was the first? <laughs> one? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna name them all We've real quick. So Let me name them yeah, all yeah. so we have them up here. Yeah. So first in order, was... I guess chronologically, it would be Load Up, yeah. The Great Divide, yeah. Lips of Poison, Monster, The Great Divide, Acoustic. I'm starting to forget some of them. Uh, I believe it was Manifest, Manifest Anxiety, Anxiety, and then Wake, wake me, up. me Up. I think that's yeah. the order okay. officially for what we've done. The most uh, fun was maybe, I mean, probably load up. Yeah. Because it was just like an actual party. <laughs> it was a party. You know what I mean? Like it was like a shoot, but it was a real party. Dude, yeah. that was the hardest to just wrangle people in. Like, because there's like, <laughs> yeah. how, many, how many people well, do you think were there? I, no, hold I, on. I, I no, think. that might not be the hardest one to wrangle in. <laughs> well, let it, well, let's zap. I, think, I don't know. I mean, it was. I think load up's probably the longest shoot, but it was like I don't know. It was the summertime. We were outside. We we're like hanging out and Having drinking fun. and shit. So it was like pretty chill. You know, a lot of places to go. The whole house outside, yeah. bonfire, yeah. all that stuff. And there were some structures we kind of knew what we wanted to do. Right. Yeah. Everything went according to plan. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. minus the hot tub scene easy. and the camera getting a little wet. Yeah. Yeah. But that that was okay, yeah. dude. I think honestly, man, Great Divide was the hardest to wrangle people, dude. Oh yeah. I don't know what it was about that, man. But well, uh, there's you know the masks, <laughs> uh, getting everyone to wear the mask, like sit over yeah, here, yeah. and then some people were like, hey, I want to pick up like all the girls, right. like and hold yeah, them, and I know, you know, dude, everybody, dude, any shoot I go to where it's like a party, it's like. We are filming a party, but we're also at work. We're at work here. So mm. stop trying to pick up chicks. Well, you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and then we're doing a highlight, you know, uh-huh. of some of them. Like I think like lips of poison. Uh-huh. Is, oh dude. It might be on the yeah, crazier that side. So that's <laughs> yeah. that's when I came in. Yeah. Is I was supposed to that's be right. in load up. That's yeah. right. I was supposed oh, really? to yes. Oh. That's when I joined. Yeah. Then Joe was his first one uh-huh. was lips of poison. But I was what sick. a start right. for that's you right. to walk into that. Oh yeah, Crazy. well, the same place. That you seemed to be yeah. pretty good at it by then, though. You were like, "Hey, you, you with the tits, stand I over there." To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, dude, I have. If I have to be the bad guy, I will be. And I'm sure it. You know, some of the other people there that aren't in videos all the time. It's like cool, fun, like. It's like a party to them, yeah, but to it's me, it's party. like I gotta get this done. I yes. need to make Josh happy. I need to get all the ideas we have done before yeah. we get kicked out of wherever. So yeah, yeah I mean, there's you know. If I, if I got a direct Load up, I a little straight up got like screamed at by this one chick, and I have I've never really? seen her since. Oh, and, load and up! Well, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'm like I'm like I'm a part of the band. I'm gonna be next to Josh because we're uh-huh. all in this scene together. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, "You don't even know. I'm Josh's <laughs> best." Right. 
Like, <laughs> they don't even know him. And dude, I'm like, everyone's Josh's best friend. What the <laughs> hell? Like, Dylan, Dylan's like, I'm the drummer. Stop what do it. you mean? I, I, oh, sorry. Here, you can be in the band temporarily, I guess. Yeah. Like, what, Here, what, play what a polyrhythm for drum. me. It is funny, dude. That shit, I because that was the first time we really I, like hung out with like your whole crew. Yeah. And I assumed everybody was your crew. And I haven't seen like 90% of those people ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it they came from. It was a big party. That that video oh, yeah. shoot was wild. I, but you know what? That it was, was that was like on. invite your friends and then we had a taco truck. Their their taco truck showed up too, yeah, so we yeah, had a taco yeah. truck. So that one was cool. Had a cop car. Yeah, yeah had a cop uh, car. I, met, I ran into that cop or one of those cop guys at another show recently. David. Yeah. 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 Probably okay. David. Did he Shout say? David. Okay. No, it might bring it up. Yeah, it was David. It was probably David. It was probably um, David comes out to the show. I can't remember his name. He's got that really long long hair, like super long hair, right? Well, I I ran into him at a Halloween party. He recognized me and he was wearing some costumes. So I, I honestly didn't oh, remember right. which guy mm. it was. Actually, it might not. Um, mm. But it was Maybe, up here know. last a couple of trips ago. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Dude, that's wild. Man. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it, it, it's always fun when somebody like comes up to you and they're like, hey, man, how you doing? And yeah. I love you so much. And, 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 and I'm like, I have no fucking yeah, clue who you are. That happens are. a lot with this. And, and then you know what the greatest is? Is I go, Ooh. you know, you, you always got like, dude, man. Bro, uh, bro, bro. Champ. blah blah blah, yeah. or, or hey girl, Champ. what's Good up? Job, son. Or, Thanks, or, or, or my Thanks, favorite pal. is hey Josh, meet my friend, and then you learn their yeah, name. Yeah, that's what I do, dude. Yeah, that's a great, and it's no offense to anybody right. out there. I'm not trying to seriously that's like strategic. not remember no, that, your yeah. name. That's how you do it. But that's I don't want to offend you because yeah. I don't remember you. Sometimes I, I just meet so many we, people in one right. night, my oh, brain yeah. cannot function. name tags at shows. Well, our last show, dude, we we have a name tag. They type your name in and we'll. Print you want like speed dating? <laughs> speed dating. Hello, my name's Mark. Well, how I know the you, band? You know, Blue that, 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 Oh that, that, my <laughs> god! I met them in seventh grade. My name's Sloppy Toppy. That's Sloppy actually top. not a horrible idea. If you <laughs> right. have like a name tag and then you have yeah. like and single, take pictures, Ooh. ready to mingle kind of thing at like oh, yeah. a show or something. Or like, uh, yeah. how to do with, like, ready to bangle cups or whatever at a yeah, party. Yeah, different cups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, exactly. It's not a horrible idea. Like speed hating. Love it. No, that's that's Fuck. cool though. It, it's I mean, there's depth. <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mike's ACDC. I'll, I'll see you in the pool. Nickelback. <laughs> Nickelback. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna cut to commercial really quick. We'll be right back with more. That was yes, yes. Independent artist. If you're noticing a drop in your monthly listeners, here's why. People don't like you anymore. Videographers, this tool has saved me hundreds of hours in negotiating with clients. Are your songs struggling to get past that first 1,000 streams? If you said yes, that sucks. Are you a rapper looking to go full time? Add this one trick to your weekly schedule and the money will start rolling in. Yo, I made this beat in 40 minutes. Let me know who should hop on it. Okay, and guys, welcome back to KaneCast, by the way. It's a uh, very special friend Dylan's birthday, so... Yeah, 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 happy birthday. birthday! Look at this! <laughs> it's a dick cake. It's a it's dick a, cake. It, Yes, cake. And so his favorite wow. color, it's dick. His favorite color. Yes. Why don't we play? My favorite here? color is dick, by the way. <laughs> yes, it's the triple six so, champion. Uh, so <laughs> you can't be moving the belt. <laughs> yeah, it's not the a belt. belt. It's a champion. Uh, so I love how it's just covered in other dicks. Yeah, oh yeah, look at those Avengers. veins. Look oh, yeah. at those veins on that. Well, we're all gonna sing a happy birthday, ready, guys? <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Let me see you blow it. Blow it for the camera, Daddy. Uh, let's think of a wish. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, it didn't blow oh, it no. Oh, it didn't blow. <laughs> Won't come true. Wow. I haven't seen you blow this much dick in a while. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. I love. Yeah. Now we don't need a fog machine. We have the smoke. Woo! Wow. Woo! Yeah. Well, hey, I think it's definitely time. We might have hey, to try give me some one of those balls. Yeah, you guys want to try Probably the ball? Probably just take a yeah. big old bite. bite. Ah. 
Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. take you a bite. Give me a bite. Uh, yeah. Oh man. I want the balls. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's Put gay- it in my mouth. That's gayer than what I'm about to do to myself. All right, just, just, just stuff it. <laughs> we can eat it. <laughs> Dude, who Dude. made this? Who cooked this? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's wow. why I wanted to take a bite. I had to smell it and not touch it. Here, you want me to hold the ball? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got my teeth. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got my Good teeth. To see you. Like oh my god! You know what? That was actually delicious, mm. and um, I'm uh, I'm sorry to any of my relatives or anybody who's <laughs> watching right now if they brought are. you, you by Dick and that? Hines. You might that have to that. You know what? I feel no shame. Oh, well, yeah. guys, welcome back to Cave <laughs> Cast. Thank you for joining us for that special little birthday wish. We're back here with the man, the myth, the legend, oh, yes. King Zell. <laughs> 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 Yeah. He's willing to challenge you anytime. 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 Well, let's go back and to even go over the music video thing again, kind of going out. What yeah. would be the most, okay, out of all the videos you've done, okay. just in general, ever, okay. ever the most, yeah. the most uh, complex to edit? What was the toughest the one to edit? Most complex to edit? You've dude. done a lot. Yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, I feel like when I first started, my whole thing was just doing crazy effects all the time. So I probably spent more time when my shit was not as good. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like complex unnecessarily. Probably a good time you know to, I mean? to do it. Right, right. But people loved that shit back then. And actually, dude, I don't know, or you use CapCut now, right? Yeah. Dude, a lot of the like stock effects are like rep from like rap videos from like four years ago. So like a lot of the shit that you can do on there was shit that I had to manually do back and in the day because I was the trends for it, like oh, the yeah. templates and everything. Right, yeah. So uh, yeah, but back then you have to like rotoscope shit, like Woo. fucking draw it in. Yeah, do a bunch of shit. And uh, yeah, so they were most complicated, I think, back then. Now, now my thing is if I shoot, take more time shooting, it takes less time editing, and that's kind of the vibe now. Yeah, well, because like post is it can be right very. If very I just tedious. yeah, that way I don't have to like polish like some shit that I bless your soul threw together earlier. Yeah, you know, like even now, like our shoots are like pretty. Like I'll spend more time dialing in lighting, getting Color the angles and, and like all this stuff. Yeah, beforehand, whereas you know, even like load up, it was just like all right, some shit's going on, boom, 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 get it, boom, and then boom, like boom. figured out oh, later, yeah. you yeah. know. So it's kind of reverse now, but that's yeah. that's cool. So, yeah. so your, your process has definitely gotten more efficient. Yeah, dude, it's kind of hard to stay up to date, dude. You know, like I, I don't want to get like stagnant with like the shit that I do because yeah. I, I feel like for a while my thing was using three hundred and sixty cameras all the time. You know, which is pretty heavy editing. Mm-hmm. Like it's a lot of you know big but files. Yeah, you got to find the r- right angle too. Right, right? you got to mm-hmm. yeah, you got to like automate everything and and all this shit and. Uh, which you're seeing a lot of people do that now for TikToks, but mm. I don't know. I try to. I got to keep up with the guys I'm shooting. You know yeah. what I mean? Like if you blow up, like and you now you can go afford somebody way sicker. You know, like that means I, I'm fucked up. Yeah, you know? Oh yeah. Have uh, you have you catched any charges from shooting anybody? Any charges? Yeah. I gotta say, Cameras one of the things that. that you've done that I thought was interesting. I love yeah. like the some of the creative ideas. Like even when mm. you guys did the. The guitar playthrough on the treadmill. Oh, I yeah, think yeah. that was with Scythe, right? <laughs> right, yeah. Which that was like, it's it's funny how like <laughs> something like that can like really capture someone's like attention for a second. Yeah, like, yeah. What the Thanks, heck man. is going on? Because you could like have the n- sickest like looking like playthrough right. shot on a red. Yeah. But if it's a boring playthrough, right? Yeah. You know that that's the thing too that to be said is like some of the themes that you've done. Have yeah, been man. Sweet. So a lot of the play. I mean, a lot of the playthroughs we were doing with like playthrough challenges came from our shits not technical. To, so who gave the f- if I'm playing three chords for like three <laughs> minutes, so it's like, all right, let's spice this up. Let's spice yeah. this up. Throw you on a treadmill. Let's That's electrocute good. you. You know, like, yeah. or, or just have like chicks like on a car, just like yeah, right, baby bumping. So yeah. uh, did I gotta ask, man? Yeah. Where was that done? And and <laughs> what, like, wait, which, where one? People... which one? Which one? <laughs> which one? Gosh, I, I can't no, no, no. eggs on where asses. Where was six six <laughs> AK forty seven? Where was that one shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that yeah. one was shot at a place in Everett called the Firehouse. It was a place that used to do house shows before COVID. I don't think they do it anymore, but it was just a place that people lived. They had a fire pole from the second floor to the first floor. Is why they call it the Firehouse. And uh, yeah, just a house in Everett, dude. Um, mm. I went to a show there. 
I mean, we would like go to shows just to find places to shoot videos. We're kind of scouting, kind of supporting our homies, and we found that house. I was like, dude, this is the spot. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Yeah. Yeah, you can only find so many like dilapidated places to shoot. Yeah, man. To, to, to like do a, a while. You yeah, know? with and, like and drums and stuff. It kind of becomes trendy, like for or n- <clears throat> not trendy necessarily, but like other bands catch on to where you do those things. Mm-hmm. That's what happened with Wyatt. Wyatt yeah, yeah, was just oh, yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, they, yeah. Every every place they started I've, filming, I've people have started to go to. I just love that we like lucked out with like for load up like the log cabin was such a great prime location to have because you know I think that yeah you know a lot of bands are like oh we're gonna go film here and like oh you want to go film under the Seattle Bridge like (laughs) (laughs) first of all your equipment's gonna get stolen but (laughs) (laughs) don't people live there Uh, (laughs) that's home dude I haven't seen a music video on the Fremont Troll yet let's do that dude let's do it (laughs) shoot on the Fremont Troll I I thought that like and I kind of talked about this on one of the episodes but Aaron Jones filmed on top of the Space Needle which Mm. was sick oh really but I'm like what kind of permits there's a lot of red tape that has to happen right because that's the other thing is like I don't have permits for shit so it's like we gotta find the grungy places where we can get away or try to get away we gotta do your Father's bowling alley, dude. I'm so dude. Down. I've offered that to so many people. I'll take it. I'm ready. Never... Tell you what, the next music video, we're gonna somehow incorporate the bowling alley. Let's do it's it. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, dude. let's run it, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's run, run it. it run it up easily, but dude. We'll run it no problem. Actually, for the people watching this that are Josh Kane fans, this room we did what anxiety part of anxiety. Yes, we did. We did wake me up. Yep, all of it. Monster. Yeah, we did. All all we did monster. Did we do monster in here? Yeah, we did. We did uh, manifest. No, we did manifest. Well, we did monster. Well, in that. well, we had the couch in here. Yeah, we did monster. And, uh, oh, and we it did. Was us chilling and watching TV over for here. anxiety. Oh, oh, monster was in the garage. Wait, well, monster, well, and here too. And, and monster because we did the. Monster. Okay, well, so no, no, monster was I believe all done in the garage because we did like a couple of things. Yeah, we had the full setup. Yeah, there was but us chilling on the couch. But we did manifest the bedroom scene right behind. Yeah, manifest. We did right behind me. Yeah, pretty much all of them. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And now the podcast. Yeah, and now the podcast. Now we're here, guys. Full yeah. circle. Yeah. All right. We'll oh, and uh, Josh's OnlyFans. Yeah, and my OnlyFans oh, yeah. is down here. Oh, oh, right. It's only toenails. Ha- by the way, how is it yeah. to film Josh's OnlyFans? Yeah, how's it? Pretty good. Pretty a good. Lot of, yeah, a lot of editing. <laughs> Do you have to <laughs> zoom in a lot? <laughs> yeah, a lot of after effects. Special <laughs> effects. After, yeah, after you have to get that big long gotta, lens. Yeah, I got to use a, a fish eye help. Yeah, I got a fish eye help. big somewhere. Yeah, it's got to look big. A lot of camera Josh is hung like a tube. In a can. Oh man! Camera tricks, man. Camera tricks, baby. It's probably it's a good thing. Camera lighting, it's lighting, it, yeah. light. Everything looks, you know, just you know, yeah, baby. It's like so you good. Juicier. You know, that's like the Burger King commercial, right? Like the burger looks so good, like on the commercial. <laughs> then you go there. I want a Whopper, and yeah. it says, "Yeah." Then they see you live, and they're like, "What the hell yeah. is this?" <laughs> that's a Whopper. <laughs> this is a Whopper. Commercial versus reality is. Yeah, just... it makes me so sad. But those burgers look so good. Mm. Oh, the commercials are more. Well, all in all, Josh is still pretty juicy. I'm still pretty mm. juicy. Stunt doubles. Stunt double. Yeah. Actually, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple stunt thank doubles. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Also, yeah. Zab, Zab is himself. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. I, sometimes I get in there. We are the abs. You know, we get in there. Yeah, we get in there. <sighs> well, and you know what's uh, crazy, too? Like, with some of the, like, the videos, I kind of go back into the video thing. Yeah. I, I What are some of the highlights out of all the videos that we've done together? Like, some of the, the highlights of each of them, maybe <clears> things <throat> that you thought were, I don't know. Like um, they're crazy or I don't know. Yeah, I like seeing like when we watch, you know, every now and then I'll go down a rabbit hole, look at like all the old videos that I've shot because we've been doing this for like a couple years together now, yeah. I feel like. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't know when load up was, but like just the like the growth from where your band was, where I was as a video guy and like looking at where we're at now, like we haven't plateaued. So that's sick. Yeah, that's sick. You yeah. know, I think the problem is how do I keep fucking like making you guys look sick without doing the same thing. Yeah. Again. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? That's my problem. Turn me like, into a super saiyan. Right. Cause, Cause it's like, it's, yeah. Cause it's like easy when I'm shooting like a new guy. So it's like naturally the video looks different. It's a different character on screen. Yeah. But mm-hmm. when it's like, okay, I'm with you guys again. Fuck. We need new ideas. We need new this. Yes. Would you, would you have most of the f-ing ideas, which is sick. Some people have no ideas, Dude, we, and it's on we me. we literally procrastinate as hard as we can. <laughs> and then they're like, right, we like, 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 whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, it'll it be some videos are more, are more well thought out. Like, even certain things, like, even, like, so Manifest, right? Let's yeah. say that, that one, there was one in my head, like, I knew I wanted. Mm-hmm. a vision. It's the walk one where I'm, like, yeah. walking. I knew, like, that, that one, I was like, good, I dude. need that one. And then the bedroom, laying back, everyone yep. kind of was like, ooh, like, you're... It, it's morphed a little mm. bit to what 
like we'll, whenever we sit down and talk, like I'll be like, all right, Dylan, Joe, mm-hmm. r- you know, Ryan, we'll just kind of sit down and be like, hey, what are we going to do? And some of the ideas sometimes mm-hmm. are like too crazy. I'm like, okay, that won't work yet. Right, like that's right. like too crazy. I, I that's loved my idea for Wake Me Up. It was, <laughs> oh, it was so crazy. It was so, we dude, didn't have the budget for it. Falling off a building? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looked no, like a falling in reverse wanted, type video. I wanted a video to start with Josh doing a push up on the edge of a building. <laughs> I, yeah, I remember you pitched that to me and I was like looking up, okay, how can I do this? <laughs> how can I do that? Dude, my thing is I don't want to like, but the, the, the problem I think with some videos and not every video, like most of the videos I get to do now are like pretty professional. Everyone like knows what they're doing, but every, yeah. you know, there's still a couple times where, you know, somebody, maybe they're new as their first video or whatever. And they have this crazy, these crazy ideas. Yeah. And it's like, I can't, I don't know how to execute them. We don't have the time or the budget or whatever. Mm. It's like, you would need a whole green I, warehouse. Right. Yeah. It's these. like, I got to draw the line on like, dude, I want to do what I know we can do. So yeah. it's sick yeah. instead of this big jank looking thing just to fit your shit in. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Like someone's like, I want to be on Mars and right. my background is yeah, Britney yeah. Spears with a little <laughs> knife on the TikTok and my titties are out. Right. And we have to have aliens. Yeah, yeah we don't have yeah, that yeah. kind of budget yeah. to get to Mars. Though you'd be sick as uh, one of these <laughs> so, times, you know what job. I'd love to do is uh, well, it's sometime in the future, dude, I'd love to go oh. like rent us like some kind of warehouse for like yeah. the day with the green screens and like, yeah. spri- like you know, like this. Crazy, like you know, you do. Harnesses. You guys do realize I'm an iron worker with access to like high rise <laughs> story buildings. We're gonna go to the story. We don't need a green screen. We'll put you on the top. We're gonna put you on the top. I just I'm can't not die. Even joking, dude. Yeah. Like if you guys yeah. wore a couple hard hats and some vests, I, you're there. And that's when Josh died. It was great. Final video. Final video. We made Josh <laughs> most do work. Epic video ever. Tour. <laughs> we yeah. caught him falling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Be Josh's stunt double. Yeah, be my stunt double, baby. Mm. Don't get somebody else to jump off. <laughs> yeah, just get yeah. someone else. <laughs> <laughs> just jump off the building. Jump off the building. <laughs> hey, this is going to be a one time thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> need you guys. Take two. Take two. <laughs> so, take two. I got to ask, like, what got you into videos initially? Like, what, where was the start of that? We've talked a lot about music, talked yeah. about the videos themselves, but how did you start actually getting into the videos, like filming them and yeah, dude, I picked it up started. to like network, honestly, man. Like, I, I the first time I, uh, I don't know, I saw like people filming like live footage for people, you know. I wasn't playing in a band at the time, and I was like, if I do this, I can still be around and still be useful, help out, you know, a lot of people. And you know, I know, knew a lot of artists and whatever, so I just like got a camera, started filming like live one angle, one take live sets, right? And I had the same problem where it's like the shit cut off at 30 minutes because it was a fucking picture camera, not a video camera. Yeah. So I'm like yeah. hoping the fucking, their set <laughs> you know, yeah. ends mm. on time. And uh, yeah, I just started doing that as a networking tool. You get into shows for free, you get to meet people, yeah. you know, and like went from there. Um, and then I took that and I was like, I want to be in wrestling, more involved in wrestling. So I started filming for wrestling company using the, the, uh, the live footage from concerts as like, hey, I know how to film like unscripted or like Im- I can improvise angles yeah. one yeah, take yeah. right which is like kind of hard it's not music video can take forever to set up a shot you yeah know I mean mm-hmm. wrestling concerts it's like I don't know where you're going mm-hmm. you know and we gotta just well, you know, it's I gotta follow such it such a great job of like just in the moment of these sh- like you're getting like, oh, thanks, these action man. shots of like you're almost in the moment of, <laughs> thanks man of that thing, yeah you know like yeah that, that's what I love about your filming oh, thanks, yeah dude. yeah I feel like I mean I was doing that before. So it's like I got I got my reps in with that. You you know? You're literally in the pit all the time. Why not hold a right. camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So and you know, being a musician, it's like I know how I want you to make me look badass on camera. Yeah, so I can, right. do, so that I can do that for yeah. you too. <clears throat> and being a wrestling fan, it's like I can kind of see where something's going. So maybe not film if they don't want that to be visible oh, or right. whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, shit like that. Um, but yeah, I started off like live videos. Then I went into wrestling. Then I started shooting music videos for other people because I wasn't comfortable doing it for myself. Um, you know, doing all this shit for free. But building your chops up, I mean, in, you know? yeah, oh, so, you're getting paid in exposure? I was getting paid. Wrestling was paying me. <laughs> wrestling was the first time I got paid. Oh, wow. Um, and then music, first music videos, it's like, dude, I don't have a resume to show you. Like, give me a chance, you know? Me, like, yeah. I was doing it yeah. for free. Well, look at you year. now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, dude, yeah. yeah. Now well, I don't have to work at fucking Guitar Center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. Dude, dude, I, dude, dude we all could be there right now. I literally went to Guitar Center earlier today to just pick up one drum head. Guess how much it was. Guess. Just make a random guess. I don't know, dude. $45. $75. For what? A drum head? What drum? For one kick drum head. Oh, kick drum head? 75, huh? Dang, guys. Dude, probably took an where hour. Where are we at with this economy? Where Someone fix it. Hey, hey sweetwater.com, 
I love you. <laughs> you I know, love you. It, it, it probably took two hours to get some guy to f- ring you up. The too, drummers, man. the drummers of the future are gonna need money, man. It's See, it's a weird yeah, thing, dude. dude the 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 whole drum you section can't. of Guitar Center is like. It's gross in there. It yeah. is literally like destroyed, full of boxes. Yeah, nobody's in there. There's well, except for maybe one tweaker trying to like figure out how to play <laughs> drums. The they don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know if he's he's not even sitting in the seat. And there's the one guy playing ACDC. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, little yeah. Inner Sandman. But just steal, dude. Yeah, just yeah, steal it's, from it's Guitar kinda Center. Sad. It's <laughs> kind of sad seeing that yeah. place like that, dude. I, do you guys remember back in the day for, with Guitar Center that you used to be able to haggle? Right. No. Right. Do you remember that you I used don't. to be able to haggle? I, I didn't haggle, but I remember guys coming in trying to haggle and you, telling me that they used to. Oh, well, uh, like for the uh, higher my, end guitars, you my, know, my, like my dad right. would Gibson's. be able to br- bring them down in some prices. Like, hey, yeah. you know what? Look, I'm gonna buy my son a snare and these two cymbals. Can right. you toss this other cymbal in like for free? Right. And, or or, or I'm not gonna buy it. And the, and then they they toss that in. You Interesting. Know? Right. Let's just be glad we don't work for Guitar Center. Yeah, yeah man. So that would be. <laughs> It would be very... Yeah, it sucks. Very sad. Years ago, yeah. But with that, your resume now, with all the videos you've done, I mean, you've done a lot of artists, and yeah. all, it's certainly a lot of people, even after doing, like, my videos, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I've had a lot of friends like, who does your videos? I'm oh, like, yeah. this guy. Mm-hmm. And yeah. some of them, you know, I really hope that they do follow through and, yeah. and go with you. And, be, and <laughs> so, people yeah, should... Yeah. Because, you know, some people are like this, they get scared away if it's, yeah. like... Mm-hmm. You know, a hundred bucks, and you're like, dude, a hundred. Oh man, are you kidding me? That's they're right. like, yeah, they're like, my budget's a hundred bucks, but I'm like, a, you know, music, I s- it's a hobby for some people. Yeah, so it's like, like yeah. I get it. Yeah. But yeah. you're like, bro, who do you but think even, you're talking who's to? Who's talking bro? to? <laughs> well, no, there's there's people out there like I'm all about it. I'm a right. yeah, music, yeah, yeah. but they're not willing to put. I'll see them drop. I'm talking mm-hmm. like they'll drop five, six grand into like new motorcycles right. or you know cars. Right. Uh, you know, just right. like. Because they like, I like this. I'm like, but you can't drop a little bit into your yeah. dream or your passion. Yeah. Come on. See, it's gotten to a point where like, I know the people that I can actually plug Zab to. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was funny because when we played with the Unforgiven, I was like, you guys got to get Zab. And they're yeah. like, we already did. We already yeah, did. We already did. Out, did. Yeah, I was did like, you just bro, film them too? I did. I did yeah. Perfect. Yeah, they I were, love those they guys. They were some of the first guys I was like working with consistently. That's super, they're dope. super cool. Because Maisie was making beats for them. And uh, yeah, we we're talking about Scythe right. Gang and shit. Maisie produces like all her shit. Like I'm oh, like visual rap. aesthetic stuff. Oh like with the last gosh. like EP, I was like kind of involved, but Maisie's like mixing that shit. It's her laptop, you know, programming yeah. everything and like wow. recording crime That's and all incredible. that shit. So, um, but yeah, so she started. Yeah, it's kind of sick because we started at the same time. She was like starting her produ- production. I was doing my videos, so we kind of worked with the same people. And even uh, now, it's like sometimes it's like perfect family like, Yo, you balance. Need- right, like, having. So that's really cool is building your team to even go yeah. to like if if you right. can construct that team mm-hmm. of people. So oh. she got the audio, you got the video. Right. I mean, that's like that's exactly perfect. dude. Yeah, and we've been doing it for a while. Same thing like with you, it's like six seeing everybody move up at the same time. Like if I'm doing a video for someone, it's like, yo, if you need beats, hit up Maisie, or Maisie's got someone in the studio, it's like, yo, Zab will do the video. And dude, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know? No, it, well it's it's supposed to be teamwork. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 all in all, it's, it's supposed like, to be teamwork. Right. And, and and I don't I don't know if you remember like kind of just a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, let's say five six years ago, like everybody was working together a lot more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know? right, and, right, right. And then uh, all of a sudden, it was like back to like at each other's throats. Like uh-huh. we're, we're better, yeah. you know. And yeah. then they don't want to work, and they and then they gatekeep a little bit, right. you know, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate how that yeah. works out, you know. And hopefully we're on the exit of that. Hopefully, we, yeah, I think yeah. we want to get back to yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, like, like, come on, you know, we're all trying to make yeah. it here. Yeah, there, there are a lot more bands. Uh, do it before AI takes. Before over. AI right. takes over, we got it. Yeah. It's no, I Terminator. You know what? I can't wait until AI takes over art and music and everything. That way, I can just focus on my laundry and dishes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> chat full time. Dude. Full time <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think we got that. Ass backwards get, there. No, you know? it, we're in a, we're in a weird situation. All right, guys, we're gonna take one more commercial ba- uh, break, and then we will be. <laughs> what well, yeah, What's big, guys? I'm we're gonna, gonna go take one more commercial break, then we'll be back with our closing notes. Like, subscribe, share. Attention, new merch item alert. Go on to joshkmusic.com and get yourself a JK mug. Yeah, fill that up with your favorite brew. Whether that be whiskey, coffee, or Mountain Dew. Or maybe some water. While you're there, don't forget to check out our other merch options, such as t-shirts, hoodies, posters, and so much more. Welcome back to Kanecast. We're here with the Triple Six champion, King Zab. I'm 
Yeah. Yeah. Testament any Testament. moment. He yeah. will fight a child. Right. Undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> 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 well, Dylan, why don't you take a swipe? Then I get a question. Uh, you y- yeah, What's man. So, y- you know, like throughout the years, it just like playing or 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 even you know like recording music videos for people or yeah. I- any of that kind of stuff like i'm just kind of curious like what are like kind of the the highlights like the best show that you probably ever played like it and it could be just like how you were treated or mm-hmm. or just like the crowd reaction or how big of a crowd or and then and then also i want i want just like the absolute Worst, like mm. the backyard, bar- <laughs> yeah. the backyard barbecue oh, that had man. like four grandmas at it. You don't you know, have to give like, names. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta <laughs> give names. You don't gotta drop names. Just yeah, just no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't gotta drop take names. Take us through it, baby. Nothing, take just, us through just, it. Just like yeah, just yeah. Take us through it. Uh, dude, I think the best show for me was probably the first gathering that we played with Scythe Gang. Nice. It's not even the biggest crowd that we played or that I've played personally, but. It felt like the culmination of like a lot of work, like hard work, me and Maisie doing. Because like that gathering, that first year, let's like we played one night. Um, I filmed um, Ouija on the main stage in front of like it's thousands and thousands of people. A right? headliner. Maisie's like one of the people in his show. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was like, and I forget what else I was doing, man. I was doing, it's like every day I had something going on, but it was just like, it felt like. Yeah, culmination of like everything me and Maisie were doing. Like it just felt right. Right, she was producing. Yeah, she had like like you know, Ouija ended his set with a song that Maisie produced. Oh, you that's know what awesome. I mean? Like yeah. he and and he shouted us out. Well, and we that got mean, to play. That means like everything to you, right? Yeah, it was the first time I got to meet a lot of the juggalos that we knew through the internet in real life. That's just you know killer. what I mean. And uh, yeah, it was sick. Like it was, it's it is magic, dude. And then oh yeah, and then we uh, got to do. Fago Armageddon with ICP. At the end of their set, they just launch Fagos. I mean, they're launching Fagos the whole time. But at the end, the crowd rushes the stage. They're allowed to get on. And me and Maisie got oh, to be wow. on stage with them, drowning in Fago to end the gathering. It was just like, oh, wow. just perfect. How dude. sticky was that? Was yeah, how sticky? It was. It's not. Okay, so here's the thing. They use Diet Fago because it's less sticky. Oh, oh. smart. They figured right. it out. What so, the hell? But what it was the real we were, <laughs> Less corn syrup. But we were drenched, dude. It was we're like, drenched. It was, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, I mean, you could ask me. It, was just, it felt like pure like ecstasy. magic. Yeah, yeah. You're, like oh, dude, that's, that's amazing. So then, now yeah. with that, with that being with such that, a the highlight, worst show. yeah, yeah. Now we gotta go to the worst show because I'm like, that sounds amazing. Yeah, so, the worst show. There's like so many it. to choose from, dude. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, this one time we played an alleyway. The worst show. Fuck. Look, it, it could even be like. Well, it a could promoter be, or like somebody oh, who yeah. just it like even really have to be made some guy owes me eighty bucks. Yeah, dude, some guy owes eighty bucks. Shut him out. Who owes our boy eighty bucks? I don't, bucks. Give him, I don't even want to give him attention, dude. No attention to this know, guy. Right? Uh, yeah, we played some show in uh, San Diego, um, and I guess they got the contract. So that we were just booked on this. We didn't. Or we didn't book the tour. We weren't the promoters. We weren't the money guys, right? We just show up and play. We're supposed to get our guaranteed money. Yeah, or whatever. And uh, somehow, I guess the venue got like their contracts mixed up with like another show, so it was like right. we didn't have our guarantee. They thought we were getting like some, I don't know, whatever, like a weird door deal, some like door it... deal, something or other. And uh, they like gave us fucking like thirteen dollars. And we're like, what the fuck is oh. this, dude? That's like a straight insult. cash, straight cash. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That night, that night, we went home. You could buy Taco Bell for one person. Yeah, it was literally Great. like one. Yeah, we went home, wrote a diss track on the guy who. <laughs> Booked the show <laughs> and then released it on YouTube the next morning before the next show. Oh, that's no it. way! Yeah, because it was in San Diego, so we San Diego. Oh, our next great. show was in like Anaheim, so we we live in LA, so we would like stop. Home. All right, we're gonna get this off we're our chest. Go. Home. So uh, yeah, that was probably I mean, the show itself was fine, but just the idea uh, of the like, idea of that. What yeah. the See, and you know what's really common is that people we talk to, this seems to be the common thing. Like, it'll mm. be like everyone has a wonderful show experience, yeah. like the crowd wise. Yeah, yeah. But it seems to be always there's something to do with those promoters or contracts yeah, right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're like, and you'll see a packed show or something. It's like, wow, there's right. 300 well, people here. And, you know, there's a, yeah. you know, and they give you $13. Right. Here's a discounted drink ticket. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you, buddy. Exactly. You'll buy yeah, yourself exactly. a little Caesars hot and ready. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. So I had to call it the, the promoter um, or the booker and was just like, hey, man, so uh, where's our money? Dude? Yeah. Where's like our they, money? You know, we didn't get any. And then he, like, he like, was like, yeah, well, I'll sort it out. Da, da, da. Never, never heard back. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's just, like, all of a sudden he's like, doesn't exist anymore. It's kind of like, whatever. But, you know, we're burying him. 
in the, somebody asks me how this guy $13. Like, yeah, 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 no, it's like awful. We have, a, few, we have a, yeah. a promoter or two that we're like not oh, a yeah, fan man. of. The thing is, around, we've never dude. gotten thirteen dollars though. That's crazy, dude, that's crazy yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I would have gotten nothing before. You guys get paid. Shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Dude. That's dude. That's, that's wild. How about you, dude? You, I, you book your own shit now, right? So yeah, no, really... I have. So we have in place. We do contractual stuff like yeah, with yeah. anyone. And there's there's mm. a couple of shows we've, we've talked about a few times where mm. um, we now like contracts have to be like signed before yeah. that we we go into it. And there's certain shows sure. that will like if I really know the other band that's booking or someone, we'll, we'll right. work it with them. Yeah. Typically though, I want to know whether it's a guarantee or a door deal immediately. And which sure. which everyone real quick door deal versus guarantee. These are things that you want to know definitely going into this industry because they could benefit you depending on what you're doing, right? Like, so for a door deal, right. um, the bands get to split all that, right? So it's like the, the venue's already been paid for. Like, you guys get whatever comes to the door. But sometimes a guarantee can be nice because it's like you know you're making that money no matter what, even if the show does yeah, bad. Yeah, the door deal could also be more. Yes. Depending on how See, many See, and that's where you gamble. Yeah. So you got to so figure if you, out. Exactly. Yeah. So if, some, if a venue's like, you get all the door money and you know that you can put 200 people in there and you sell for 20 bucks to pop then door deal but if, if but if it's like ah, you're traveling somewhere you don't know this is why touring a right. guarantee because with this guarantee. one were they giving you a guarantee for this yeah, tour we, we had a guarantee yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's that there, there was yeah the paperwork got swapped with another See, yeah that's where i would be package. like e-sign is it e-signed yet because i like i'm not taking this we actually had what's nice too is you have those contracts they scare yeah. off the bad promoters immediately we right. got a couple show offers and they were like they sent it great like, like right, we'll pay yeah. for your hotel everything and then as soon as i sent the paperwork over right. they're like oh these guys have paperwork that's a legal no. issue. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, hey, uh, I, need, I need those W-9s. Yeah, the can, money, what's, yeah, where's what's the, the problem? Yeah, the government needs <laughs> like, yeah, say W-9 and they'll run away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. It, we've, yeah, we've, we've had some interesting stuff, but I think that it's good to, you know, kind of weigh the pros and cons of a door deal, right. a guarantee, and at least have it in paperwork, because the worst thing that can happen is at the end, then they're just like, well, you know, it's all word of mouth. But if you have that piece of paper, right. yeah. it just gives you that extra little, well, hey, does. buddy. Yeah, that's not what we agree upon. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I feel like most of the people that I've run into over the course of like my career, like video wise, or or you know, playing in bands and shits, like you meet people that like you don't f with, and they tend to also be people that a lot of people don't f with. Yeah, so it kind of sorts itself out. One hundred percent. You know, because word of mouth goes far. It does, you know, and, it does. and I, I will say that you can definitely tell, like the promoters, especially at least in the local experience mm -hmm. here, you could see the ones that are still basically scraped, like mm -hmm. the either a, a fresh band that's coming out that don't right. know their reputation, right, yeah. but you see all the bigger bands or mm -hmm. at least mid level don't go through them, right? Yeah, and if and if these promoters happen to get like a semi national tour band, I mean they're probably. I'd be curious on how they either got that deal mm -hmm. or if it's like they're pulling all the money to pay for the headliner. Like right. It's just, yeah, you know, yeah. It's yeah, interesting. No, like, yeah, I, I feel like, uh, I mean, for anybody out there trying to do this type of shit, it's like just talk to people. Talk There's to people. no like magic formula where you just like hit a level and everything's taken care of. It's just yeah. like you can fuck up bigger money. That's all, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like yeah. Talk even, to your peers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, I've, I've said this before. It's not like you can just like, go with a bunch of cocaine to a venue and have like, right. somebody just sign you. Yeah, you right. know, It's yeah, yeah. not like that anymore. It's yeah. like, what's what do you got on TikTok? What do you got on Instagram? What right. do you got on like yeah, all yeah. these different platforms? Yeah. And stuff now. I mean, you know, the, the, the times have changed. Right. I mean, when I'm shooting music videos for like anybody or like you guys or whatever, it's like things go wrong. Like, you know, uh, uh, you know, unplanned shit or we forget oh, to yeah. bring something yeah. or somebody doesn't do you one thing. You can't find Josh. You can't find Josh. Can't find Josh, <laughs> right? Yeah, it happens every time and it's just like, no matter how big you get, that's going to happen. That's going to happen, It's yeah. just going to be on a bigger level, and yeah. it's just part of the shit. Like, it's never going to stop. So, yeah. like, your problems aren't going to go away. Yeah. You just got to figure gotta out how to handle Got to adapt, survive, and adapt. Yeah. yeah. Well, this has been yeah. awesome, man, yeah. sitting yeah, down and talking. I, I definitely, you know, like, to conclude all that, you know, it's just like, like you said, like, ask around. Talk to other yeah, people and, and, and figure out their experiences and yeah. stuff like just that. Just be friends yeah. with people, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm always sketched up. Like, I like to know what's going on, so I like ask. And, and most, of, most bands are like... Yeah, I made you know we made this much money on this thing, or like our deal was this and that, yeah. and whatever our record deal is, we're getting this split off this shit. 
It's like I, some people are weird about money. It's yeah, like but they shouldn't like, be. Transparency gives right. us that. It's like kind of being. Right. It's like yeah. being naked or something. It's like yeah. fucking. Well, they don't well, want you, you to you know. know. We, we got to take that back. W- being a musician, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're on the you, same team here. Yeah, we're on the same team. Just let's and, all be transparent. It's not like we're against the promoters because the promoters are right. You know, they're, they're they can be to, great too. I don't yeah. want to say they can be great, and they're trying to spread the wealth of music. You know, I mean, that's really what we're really trying to do here. Yeah, you know, and and I think it's just. It's fair to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right. I, and, Absolutely. and being transparent is fair. And there's nothing wrong with it. Right. 100%. You know, I've seen you, a lot you of guys coming You shouldn't have a problem go. with it if you, ain't, if, you, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, right? Right. Exactly. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. And we ain't trying to do nothing wrong. We're, trying to, like, we're just, just all trying to move. survive out here, man. Equal we all want to buy man. a Little Caesars hot and ready piece. You know, right. Exactly. Right. We right. all want it. That's our guarantee. That's our guarantee. Honestly, I would take that Little Caesars pizza over some of the guarantees we've been offered. Come on now. Come on now. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to KaneCast. It's been an awesome sitting down with the man, the myth, the legend himself, King Zab. We will challenge thank anybody's you grandma. Yes, absolutely. Challenge anyone. <laughs> Please remember to like, share, subscribe, all the things. Follow us. Join our Patreon and support, everything. Support everything Josh is in the gang, dude. yeah, yeah. maybe. Remember to check out Scythe Gang. Remember to check out Scythe Gang. Six, 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 All the six, socials six, they will be Instagram. posted in the description below. Woo! All right, guys, yeah. have a good one. Peace out. Rock out music. <laughs> <laughs>